Good morning folks, this is a quick follow-up video from the one I posted last night where I showed you how to modify uh, a Sony MPF920, which is a PC floppy disk drive, to work on the Commodore Amiga. Um, as it's a, a PC drive, it obviously uses 1.44 megabyte disks um, as shown, which have the two holes. Um, and the Amigas use um, 880 key disks, which have the one hole, the double side, double density. And historically, as Amiga users, what we've had to do uh, when we're using a PC disc is get a piece of tape, tape over that hole so that when it goes in the drive, the drive, there's a switch that detects what type of disc it is and then it will allow the, the computer or the Amiga to use it. So we've always had to tape this over um, on Amiga drives. So what we can do on the PC drive is do a really simple modification that will negate the need for us to do so. So that any disk that goes into the drive will all automatically uh, be classed as an 880k disk. So I'll quickly show you how to do that. It's a really super quick repair or modification I should say. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the three screws. Um, just these three here. One, two and three. Um, I showed you how to do that last night, so I'm not going to insult intelligence and t talk you through how to take a screw out. Uh, and this gives us a drive, uh, access to drive electronics, I should say. So, um, as the disc goes in, to the right hand side is where the high density uh, detect switch is. So, we know we're going to be working on this area here. And if I bring this up to the camera, you can see that it says SW3 and HD. HDN, so that is our high density detect switch. So those contacts are, our solder joints are fairly clean, so I'm not going to bother cleaning that off with alcohol. We'll just go straight in. Uh, what I'm going to use for this repair is just a simple cut off of a through hole component, which I have here. I've already pre cut it because I knew. Oops. I knew uh, roughly the, the size of the switch. These tweezers are absolutely rubbish, but yeah, um, there we go. That's what we're going to use. So I'm just going to put that in place. There we go. And quickly tack that up with a bit of solder. Um, I always use lead based solder. I know it's uh, not as environmentally friendly and stuff like that but it there's nothing really melts that easy you know nothing melts as easy as this does so we'll just crack on and use it um so we're just gonna heat up the joint and I just push that in and then that's that one side tacked and then simply tack the other side and that's it okay for now zoom out slightly and then bring it up to camera, you can see that that uh, switch is now, uh, the two leads of the switch are now joined, which means that that switch is permanently closed, which means that the drive will think that the switch is depressed, even though it may or may not be. It, it's irrelevant whether it is or isn't. Because we've branched that, um, you know, the drive sees it as being a double sided, double density disc. Now, as always, uh, Best practice is to get a bit of isopropyl alcohol and then just give it a quick clean to get rid of the, the flux residue um, and that leaves us with a nice clean joint, nice shiny clean joint. So guys, uh, let's see a super quick video and that's showing you how to make that slight modification uh, which uh, will uh, stop the requirement to use sellotape on uh, high density discs. Hope that helps you. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye.